Welcome back, Odoers. In our last lesson, we took a look at all the bells and whistles of the brand new Shuffler module. Now today, we're going to put that lesson into practice. How, you may ask? Well, I'm going to show you how to process a manufacturing order, or MO for my acronym lovers, using the shop floor. As we just learned, the shop floor module makes it easy to process multiple MOs, even if each MO has multiple work orders within it. It does this by grouping work orders based on the work center where they're actually carried out. All right, I'm hyped up. So let's make a coffee table. So before we get started, let's take a quick look at the product that we're going to be making. Now to do that, I'm going to jump inside of the manufacturing app, go up here to products and products. Now we're going to select that coffee table and select that bill of materials smart button up at the top and then click on the first one. All right. Now I've already configured a bill of materials or bomb for this product because you need to remember that every product we manufacture must have at least one bomb. Otherwise we wouldn't know how to make it. All right, now on the bomb, we have all of our components listed inside of the components tab that we have right there. Now, if I click into the operations tab over here, we can see that there are two operations required to manufacture our coffee table. We have assemble table and stain the table. Now the stain table operation, as you can tell, is actually blocked by the assemble table operation, which means we need to assemble the table before we can stain it. Additionally, if you look over towards the instructions column over here, we can actually notice that there are multiple steps to complete. I can actually view all of the required steps by clicking on the show instructions button, which happens to look like these little lines with the dots. So let's click on the one for assemble table over here. For example, this one actually requires three steps to complete. We have inspecting, attaching legs, and adding the shelf as well. So to sum it all up, we have our coffee table product along with its bomb. The bomb itself has two operations required to manufacture the table, and each of those operations is further broken down into multiple steps. Oh my God, it's all complicated, right? And all of that is required to manufacture just a single product. Imagine when you have dozens, no, hundreds of products that you need to manufacture, each with multiple operations and steps. Well, the good news is that the shop floor module was designed for exactly that problem. So let's jump into it now so I can show you how it can simplify everything for us. All right, first off, we need to create a manufacturing order for our coffee table. So we're going to make our way to operations and manufacturing orders. Select new and type in that coffee table over here and confirm it out. All right, well, you want to make a quick note of this actual MO number that we have up here at the top. And that's so that we can easily distinguish it from other MOs in the shop floor module. And since we're using two-step manufacturing for this workflow, a pick components order is automatically created to transfer the required components to the production location. This is also true for three-step manufacturing. I can actually access the picking order by clicking on the transfer smart button that automatically appeared up here at the top. Now, once the components have been transferred, I just need to validate this, mark all as done, and we're all set. And this is so that we can confirm everything has occurred. Now, completing the picking order for the MO is important because it marks the MO as ready to start. By default, the shop floor app only shows MOs that are ready to start. If you're using one-step manufacturing, no picking order is required, and a confirmed MO will be ready to start as long as the required components are available inside of your inventory. Now I can actually head over to the shop floor application over here. And like I talked about this, since it replaced the tablet view, the shop floor module has its own dedicated icon on the Odoo dashboard that you saw me use. Now on the actual module homepage over here, there's a card for our coffee table MO, which we can easily find by searching for that MO with that copied text that I showed you earlier. Now that makes it a lot easier. Now this card lists the first work order we need to complete, which happens to be assembled table, along with a button to take me to the work center where it will be carried out, which happens to be the assembly line over here. Perfect. Now on the page for our assembly line work center, the MO number filter remains in the search bar. So we only see the work order for that MO. If I remove that filter, we would see every work order assigned to this work center, but I'm not feeling chaotic today. So I'm just gonna leave it as is so we can focus on this specific work order that we have right there. All right. Let's start manufacturing our coffee table. First off, I'm going to click on the header that says assemble table over here. And there's a reason for that. Boom. It starts the timer over here. This timer keeps track of the time spent working on the work order. This information can be viewed later on the MO along with the total cost to process the work order. We'll talk about how to basically see that info in a later video. Then I'm going to complete the steps one by one to do so. I'll click on the first step, which is inspect components. Okay. Now this one, in this case, it's a pass fail quality check that requires me to inspect our components for defects. Thankfully, looking at our metaphorical, not real table over here, it passes. Great. Now we can move on to the next step. So we'll hit next over here. 
And we're gonna keep going through this. Uh, alternatively, I can close this out and I can click on the little check boxes that we have over here to finish them all off, which I just did for the last part over here. Great, with all the steps completed, I'll click on mark as done over here. And that causes the assembled table work order to fade away. As that's happening, take a look up at the paint station that we have over here. And this work center at the moment sets zero. And that's because there's nothing assigned to it right now. However, once the previous work order disappears completely, ah, look at that, I love it when that happens. Boom, there's now one work order assigned to the paint station. This is because Odoo recognizes that the next work order stain table is finally ready for processing. So we're gonna click on that paint station over there. And it's time to complete all the steps for the stain table work order. Now, once I do that, by once again, clicking on all of this stuff all over again, we can actually close production because the button appears since this was the final work order for the MO. Once I click it, the MO itself is completed and the work order starts to fade away. Def Leppard said it, you know, it's better to burn out than fade away. But in this case, the work order fading away means we've produced a brand new coffee table. If that's not rock and roll, I don't know what is. Well, that's it for today, Odoers. Don't worry though. This won't be the last time that we talk about the Shoffler module. So stay tuned, grab a snack, listen to some Def Leppard.